What is good, YouTube? What's you here with this video on potential Disney Plus streaming service information? I say potential because the source is so weak, but I've been asked by a bunch of people on Instagram and DMs to go over these leaks, but I don't really think they've got much validity. But we will go over them. They do sound kind of interesting, but I spoke to some insiders real insiders and they've already debunked like most of it but we might as well go over it because you know you guys seem to love this so if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the videos and also if you want to win tickets to go and watch spider-man far from home in just over two weeks all you got to do is subscribe to this very channel and let me know down below literally anything you want so let's tell this story to my audience so essentially what happened earlier is some news broke and essentially what happened was i got a few dms asking me to go over it give my thoughts and stuff like that and then i look at the source and essentially what it is saying is it's coming from 4chan so let's just go over this guys so what you gotta understand is 4chan is a website like tumblr i guess you can literally post anything so the, the funny thing for me here is a lot of it sounds cool, but I think it's fan fiction is because the article, but it is still pulled from 4chan. It says, while I wouldn't typically share anything from 4chan since anyone can post anything there and claim it to be anybody. Marvel and Disney insiders are looking at this list and are acting as though it matches up with what they've heard. And literally there's been reports of loads of ludicrous stuff the last few weeks and days. So I try, I'm trying to stay back from it, but you guys uh, do tell me this. And then this article goes on. I will actually link it down below because I'm one of the few people that actually do that. Um, and then some people with some validity actually down below does say Disney Plus is the future of the MCU. Just wait and see. But that does not really correlate with what it's saying about each and every individual kind of storyline for the Disney streaming shows. And then someone else said those D Plus leaks are fake, but... They might not be 100% accurate. This stage of development, it's all subject to change. So what you got to understand, guys, is the Loki TV show, the WandaVision show, the Falcon and Winter Soldier show, they all have not started shooting. So the scripts are either towards the end or they've only just started. Because as we know, the Loki TV show, we don't even know when that's starting to shoot. Uh, we know the Winter Soldier one's coming up fairly soon. But as for the rest, we've got no idea. So literally, guys, take this with the biggest pinch of salt. So let's go over the Falcon and Winter Soldier one because that was the most requested one. So unlike Loki and Vision, Scarlet Witch, which are relatively self-contained, Falcon and the Winter Soldier will be deeply ingrained in the events of Phase 4. Kevin Feige has already said that whatever happens inside the streaming service, the Disney Plus service that comes out later this year, it is canon to MCU. So whatever happens on the streaming service it will be canon to the whole of the mcu so this bit yeah it, it is going to be deep phase four stuff but it could be future past present backwards forward sideways vertigo it could literally go any parallel universe so to speak now we've got the multiverse of spider-man from home so it reads on and features falcon and winter soldier being recruited by shield to prevent a group from an enforcing secret plan developed by Hydra to destroy the United Nations. Now, so far, I mean, they did do the Hell Hydra thing with the, like, the, I guess you could say, Endgame re-scene when they went back and when Captain America said Hell Hydra to get out of there. So, yeah, they're trying to destroy the United Nations. That doesn't really seem too crazy. The duo must also deal with John Walker, a soldier recruited by the US government to become the new Captain America. Now, this is where like it starts to get a bit crazy. New Captain America. You remember when I made that video about eight months ago when I said my boy John Cena, you know, I'm a very big wrestling fan. If you don't know, I said John Cena was going to become the next Captain America. It was a joke. Uh, as we know, Endgame ended with essentially Sam becoming Captain America. But we presume that this TV show will be set uh, 20, 30 years in the past, maybe maybe 15 probably somewhere around civil war time ish um i i said john cena was gonna be the next captain america now it appears that everyone else online if you type john cena captain america there's loads of videos from about seven months ago so yeah i would put my head forward for john cena but i'm a john cena fanboy just like i'm a zach Efron fanboy so this does make sense but a new captain america before we get to sam becoming the captain america i don't know like it is a bit weird but let's just flow with this who slowly goes insane and becomes a threat so this captain america essentially goes insane the project is described as a spy thriller with lots of twists and turns and it relies with heavy on falcon and buck in the same vein as lethal weapon or or 48 hours 
Pretty interesting. Sharon Carter will be the team's contact with Shield. And Samuel Jackson will make appearances on Nick Fury. William Hurt is also in talks to appear as the secretary. Ross. Now, this could be interesting. It could be. Um, but I'm not going to hit stand here, guys, and tell you the new Captain America. It, there's going to be a new Captain America before we get to Sam. Because, yeah, that could happen. But, yeah, I mean, I think it is pretty cool that they might want to involve John Walker, who very well could be John Cena. You know, uh, I've said this before multiple times that John Cena could play a badass soldier in any field. So that is literally what, like, some people are going crazy about today. But like I said, guys, it's 4chan. You know the amount of Reddit 4chan leaks that literally every YouTuber, Instagrammer, Tumblr went over that were really incorrect? Yes, they got the main narrative that they went back in time, they defeated Thanos, correct. But a lot of them plot weeks were absolutely Vlogulant and they were fake. And then it says Hawkeye. Early de development pit as a capper. About Hawkeye coming out of retirement to help aspiring vigilante Kate Bishop after she goes in and gets into trouble with the organization of crime whilst using his name or Hawkeye's family would be heavily featured. Linda is willing to return, but Jeremy Renner is still studying his options. The Hood would be the main antagonist, with Trickshot as his enforcer. And I mean, yeah, the Hawkeye one, that would be pretty cool. Now here, this is where it gets insane, because Lady Sif, apparently, is getting her own TV show, although it's not confirmed or verified by anyone. So early development pitch as a sadiqal about Lady Sif's journey across the Nine Realms after being betrayed and exiled by Loki, tending to be Odin, obviously. Beta Ray Bill would feature as one of Lady Sif's companions in her journey and the Entrancers would be the main antagonist. Jamie Alexander is willing to return but they are still figuring out a schedule that doesn't conflict with her TV spot on Blind Spot. I don't watch that but she features on that. So that's why it's kind of weird and there's even a War Machine movie TV show being made uh, which is kind of interesting but like I said guys it's from 4chan so you've got to take it with a lot. A massive pinch of salt because all the 4chan and Reddit posts were wrong about Endgame, weren't they? So the Scarlet Vision show. Vision is reborn in Endgame and unites with Scarlet Witch. They attempt to lead normal lives in the suburbs of New York, but Vision is no longer connected to the Mind Stone and is therefore cold and emotionless. Scarlet Witch attempts to use her powers, which are connected to the Mind Stone, to restore Vision's soul with crazy result. The project has been described as a psychological thriller, light on action and heavy on atmosphere, and exploring the lead characters, personal issues. Now, I mean, that does line up with everything I've been told that it is going to be a psychological thriller. That does make sense. Vision will be in human form for most of it, become the antagonist, as Scarlet Witch slowly realizes accidentally allowed a dark spirit to possess him. Agatha will be featured as a mysterious figure attempting to reveal to Scarlet Witch the secrets of her past, and there will be a subplot about the public's backlash against human and machine's relation once the true nature of visions and scarlet witch's relationship is revealed high caliber actresses are being lined up for this tv show supposedly i've heard he would be a neighbor who opposes their relationship and presents rallies the locals against them and is ultimately possessed by the evil spirits that first possessed vision becoming the mcu grim reaper now to be honest guys this does sound interesting um, a lot of fans are annoyed that we didn't get to see any of him during endgame so a lot of this is literally expanding on what was on reddit a few weeks ago so like i said the validity is not very high but is it confirmed is it revealed is it news no it's not news but it is an interesting topic point for the audience i generally put videos out that I think you guys will actually like. So, Loki TV show here. Now, if you're a Loki fanboy like me, I mean, I went to see him in Betrayal in London the other week. He's a pretty cool actor in real life. Pretty good in theatre. Pretty good. Uh, you're going to be a little bit annoyed about what it says about the Loki show, if it is real. But it is confirmed that he will be in it throughout, but it's not really confirmed what he's actually doing. Okay, let's get in it. Loki meets the Norns after his death in Avengers Infinity War and must persuade them to spare his soul from hell. Now, this is interesting because this is inferring to Infinity War, not the version of Endgame that teleported away. So very, very peculiar. Tom Hiddleston will appear in the bookend scenes and narrate throughout, 
But the blunt of the story is about Loki's youth and the events that led him down the path of pure evil. Now, that will trigger Tom Hiddleston fans because they don't want to watch a show about young Tom Hiddleston, aka young Loki, do they? They want to watch a show about Loki's adventures in between everything else. So, a lot of fans will actually be annoyed about this. In fact, if this is true, but like I say, guys, from 4chan, so I'm not really that invested in what this is actually saying it would be interesting to find what led him down this path but from a young age do we really need that and then it goes on to say that some famous actor from black mirror and dun kirk is is supposedly lined up we will also see young thor and renee russo will have a big role as them their mother frigga odin will be away on missions for the most of the story the few time he appears his face will be obscured with Anthony Hopkins' ATR in the dialogue. The sorcerer and barbarian will be the main antagonistic, but it doesn't really say much more. So, guys, that is the news. That is the breaking... It's not really breaking news, guys. This post actually isn't very... It's quite old. Let's have a look when it's from. I mean, this post was posted... Actually, guys, wow. This is actually posted in January. January the 14th. Yet you guys are asking me to talk about it today. Seriously. It's been a slow week for news, guys. It, I'm joking. I'm joking. I make videos, whatever, whatever videos, you know me. So, yeah, guys, let me know down below. Oh, are we going to get a new Captain America? Is John Cena coming? You know, because if you go on YouTube, you type War Stew, John Cena, and you will get a video from me from months ago. War Stew, John Cena. Let's type it in right now. And seven months ago, 17,000 views, John Cena, the next Captain America. Like I said, guys, I don't believe there's any validity to this at all, but it is interesting. It would be cool to find out about Loki's background story, but I prefer Tom Hiddleston to be acting throughout, not just from rating. Although his voice is pretty cool for voiceovers, um, I don't really want him to be, you know, narrating. But John Cena has been fan casted for Shazam. He didn't get the role. Captain America probably won't get the role. I mean, he is quite busy now he's not up to the rocks level he's like i don't know probably like 25 percent rocks level but he is rumoredly involved with the next fast and furious movie and he's the lead of the bumblebee movie i believe they are doing another one so he is pretty busy but like i said guys don't take this as factual news because literally you know how the internet works you know how the youtube game works you know there's a phase four leak every other no there's actually a phase four leak on 4chan and reddit every single day of the week i'm trying to be more honest and more transparent with you guys now so i don't believe that john cena is going to be the next captain america but it makes for a hell of a good title you know new captain america in the mcu and it's not falcon well realistically it will be falcon but it would be interesting to have another falcon before we get to falcon but if this is going to be set before endgame surely captain america chris evans would still B, you know where I'm going with this. It would still be Chris Evans. So, it, it, like, this would only work if it was set post Endgame and not before Endgame. But we don't know. So, let's just take it with a big pinch of salt. But, like always, guys, please like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll catch you in another video. Let me know everything down below, guys. I'm, I'm trying to be a bit different with my videos. You know, add a bit of flair, add a bit of my personality, not be boring and stale and stiff. You know, guys, um, I'm also trying to audition to do some voice acting on some other projects so i will let you know how that goes uh but i don't know we'll, we'll see won't we guys anyway i'll catch you in another video very soon catch you later